So here we are at the Trans World Halloween Attraction Show, and here is Scarlet Badges. The concept of rewarding characters kind of came to us when uh, about 2016 or so, when I was down in Hong Kong, and at an airport, I noticed a group of people and scouts that were in uniform. Okay. One of the things that I thought was like, great, I want to do haunt you know, scouts. Yes. The problem with haunt scouts, I don't think the Boy Scouts of America would be too happy with No, that. no. So we came up being a dad, dad jokes. Scarlet badges are married badges for yes. horror fans. Yeah. So back in 2016, I did some prototypes. And then in 2017, I started selling him with my business partner just to a couple of aunts to see if the idea was going to work. And since then, we've expanded to a full line that keeps expanding every year. Wonderful. One of the badges that I enjoyed the most is our most coveted badge, and that's our urination badge. And that is for the actor that gets the most people to pee every year. Yes. Now. As a haunt manager, we recommend people limit this to only one or two badges every year. We also have it in a button. So that way you can give every actor who makes somebody pee a button. But only the elite are getting the spirit badge. In addition, this year, I don't have the prototype ready, but we're coming out with a poo badge. So if you make your customers poo, you qualify for one of the poo badges. Gotcha. I know as we get more and more, we've been around for five years, we're seeing more and more people wearing the haunt badges. Yes. And when we were on the haunt tour, the Windy City uh, haunt tour here yeah. at uh, uh, Transworld, I saw a group of people from Massacre Haunted House that had them down their sleeve and down their sleeve and across the back. So they'd had four or five years of yearly badges. Plus, they had multiple of the other badges, so it's good to see your product getting out there in the public. Definitely. And more and more people are recognizing this, yes. that we are merit badges for the haunt industry. Yes. One of our first badges was our very dedicated and most dedicated, which have the years on them. Originally, when I did our first 16 and 17 badge, we just had a smaller tombstone with 17 on it. And people were wondering, was that the number of kills or the number of scares you got that year? So we decided to put the full year on it. But basically the design has remained the same after probably about four or five different versions of it. Nice. It's remained the same for the past few years. Cool. Thank you.